Before I begin, let me say the first 10 of you who the YouTube robot pushes this out must click the thumbs up button. It doesn't mean you love me. It doesn't mean you agree with anything. It simply means that you're interacting with the video. The first 10 dictate how well the video does. I'm not doing so well. So you clicking the thumbs up button, you have my life in your hands for no other reason than we live in this time where this is how things are dictated. A lot of these videos that I get 100 views total on a channel that has 100,000 subscribers is because the first 10 people didn't click the thumbs up button. That's all they're looking for. Thank you. Let's get on. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show. I'm trying to bring you up to date news because, yeah, anyway, I'm trying to get over my uh, mourning all of the relatives that passed away during COVID and there were a lot of them. I have a huge family, so back-to-back -back funerals uh, has taken its toll on me. <clears throat> and also, I refuse to take any medication. I'm taking vitamins to get over whatever sickness that I've had. Come over here and sit down. Over here. Come. Come here. Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul took Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg to task for former President Donald Trump was indicted, saying Bragg could be forced out of office and into court himself. Quote, wonder if DA Bragg remembers Durham DA Mike Nifong, who withheld exculpatory DNA tests on the Duke lacrosse players. He was subsequently forced out of office, disbarred, and convicted of contempt of court, Paul said, referring to Nifong, the district attorney, in the 2006 case accusing Duke University lacrosse players of R word. The three, it's ridiculous that we have to say R word to pretend that the word doesn't exist and people are offended if you say the word. We live, this is 2023 and we are literally living in a big, Brother, say a 19, uh, 1984 state of affairs. YouTube, you need to change. You need to stop forcing news to curtail their speech because you have dictated what hate speech is. And if you don't believe me, a billionaire sat with, sat at dinner and the former CEO of YouTube sat down across from him. And he said, what if I made a video about, and before he even finished saying the full idea, she said that would be taken down for hate speech. He says, I haven't even finished saying what I'm saying. She says, I know it's just hate speech. He said, that's a made up turn. It's, it's regardless. It'll be taken down because of hate speech. I have degrees. I have experience. I have worked in the state department. And I'm sitting here censoring my words because you idiots have come up with, uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, Congress is going to call Braggs up to uh, Congress and they're going to prosecute him and disbar him and he's going to go to jail. All right. Thank you for thank you for watching.